Um, this is a fun one. We did this one in a live draw, so if you want to go back, you can watch how we drew this one. This is perfect for the week that it is. It's called the Crooked Ladder, but it, it'll be on the site on Thursday, but it is um, perfect for Halloween week, so I'm excited to use this one. We did draw this, I think, last time we had the draw. So this is November. This is the November um, monthly spread. So this is how it works. Um, these are, of course, the days. And then these, these, this is a, another goal section. So this weekly section, these weeks actually co correspond to these days here. So 11-6 or 11-12, these are gonna be the weekly goals that I set for myself. And I'm gonna either write them in I can either write them in, you know, at the beginning of the month and put them all down, or I can kind of do it on a week by week basis. Maybe like the Sunday before the week starts, make, write my goal here. And then this is the monthly where I'm going to write um, my monthly goals. So I'll write that before the before November begins. Um, appointments, of course, this is actually an extra area for things you need to do on this page. So say I have an appointment, um, they say I have a dentist appointment on the 10th. So I'm going to, and that's why I have a key down here too, I'm going to make certain things like maybe a triangle for appointments. So I'll put a little triangle here. And this is from another blogger. I think it was decade 30 or somebody like a year ago I saw. But they do the key. They just put the triangle there so they know they have an appointment. And you can either, you can put the time there or not if you want to and then actually list the appointment here. So I'll put maybe 3.30, 10.10, you know, um, dentist appointment or whatever. So this would show exactly like the list of things I have to do and then put these little symbols over here and I would use this key for whatever I need it to be. Um, so let's see, this is memories and headlines and this is next month. So this of course December things I need to do. Okay, on um, the next page, I always skip pages because there is lead in this notebook a little bit. Um, and when I'm filming, I like to just skip the page so you don't see that. But I, I do end up going through and filling in um, those blank pages as the months go on if I need extra pages. This is the hashtag basic spread. So this is like pretty much as simple as I get <laughs> anymore. Um, this is just very basic now like this is the now and later section I did use those cool stamps those clickable stamps on this one um, this is just a list of like important things I need to do um, I can put notes or just anything that happens that week I just put that in that big section one line about today that's always just something that happened that day that's memorable just like if I look back on this because I kind of use it not only as a planner but as a journal this whole thing. So um, I like to go in at the end of the day and write one line that happened about today. So it's not too hard on me. I don't have to feel like I have to write something um, every single night, a ton of things, but just one little brief line. It's just cool to look back on. And then goals. Um, I did say this was very goal focused. So um, I do have a section for my week goals and then a day goal. So like if I just want to do one thing, like say I want to um, edit a picture or edit uh, 10 pictures or something for the website or for Instagram or something I would write that one goal down if there's just one thing that I want to do I'm just gonna put it there beside um, Monday but each day I do want to have as big or as small of a goal to write on the days and maybe work up to this week goal so that's how you get to your goals right this small steps so this of course is the one we just did um, and then this one is called, this is called the overlap, by the way. This one is called the chevron. Um, you can tell why. Um, so let me go through and explain it. Of course, these are the days, and I do have separate days for every day. Saturday and Sunday are separate, and I do have a later section. Um, also, have another goal section. And thank you, Amber. Thank you all. I love this one. And... Um, so there is a note section, so this is just anything that doesn't belong anywhere else, but maybe something you want to remember. 
This whole section is for meals. So I have a lunch and a dinner section. This typically breakfast are usually the same for me. Um, so these are Monday through Sunday. So um, a gratitude section for what I wanted, um, what I'm thankful for that week. Um, mood and energy trackers. And these are seven little sections for each day. Um, you can go through and use uh, colors here or like I said you can do percentages whatever you'd like to do um, there is a little bit of room here if you want to put a key I might put a color key in here before I use it but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet but I do I think maybe in the layout I might have one on there um, this is memories and headlines and of course you can do these boxes however you want and a little section for song okay and then this is the last one I forgot to say the Crooked Ladder does, since it does have November in it, it does come in the new November bundle. So it is five weekly layouts and then one monthly layout. And this is, this one I actually posted in the group a little while ago. Um, and one of the group members named this for me. So I do thank you <laughs> for naming this. Um, I asked for y'all suggestion for, for names. And this is Pencils and Post-its. So you all said this kind of look like pencils over here and I, I didn't even see it when I made it, but it totally does. They look like little pencils. And then of course these look like little post-it notes. But what I'm doing here is, let's see. These are my, like I said in the goal section on the other page, or since I had individual goals on that one page, I'm gonna go through and write my one goal each day in these boxes here. So that's pretty much the same kind of thing as my per day goals. That's my one thing that I have to do. And this little section down here is a key actually for what is going into these day sections. So mood, energy, this is the key for it. So these colors will be, these sections will be colored in throughout the week. And then one line about today for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then gratitude for each day. And then this section is for weather. So I'm going to put weather icons at the end of the day, how the day went. And then this section, which I don't have that labeled. You just have to <laughs> listen to me, I guess. I think it says it on the notes file. Um, and so this section is the wake and sleep. So I'm going to put what time I woke up, what time I go to sleep, and then the number of hours slept. So it goes three. So there's three per day. And the pencils and, and the post-its, of course. And so, yay, that was a flip through and it's exactly 4.30, so that's perfect. But I am gonna still go over the food journal. I think it's, yeah. Um, I'm gonna sh flip through that and just show you all what I'm working on because it's kind of just a fun project for me.